Hi guys, welcome back. David Hayward here, and we're talking right now the stages of grief, or death and dying, or the stages of deconstruction, and why you're feeling what you're feeling. The first stage we talked about is denial. The second stage is anger. This is where reality starts to set in. It's like the doctor, let's use the illness analogy. The doctor told you you have cancer. At first, you just can't believe it. No, it's impossible. You've lived a clean life. It's impossible. How can I have lung cancer when I've never smoked? You don't believe it. And then after you've dealt with the not denial, you go into anger where you're just really angry. It's, it's unacceptable. You just can't believe that this is happening to you. It's not fair. It's unjust. You see people smoking all day long and they're fine. And here you've been clean and you're dying and you're just so angry. So it's the same with deconstruction where anger sets in. You, first you deny it. it can't be happening to me. I'll always be a believer. But now you're angry because you realize it is happening to you. There's nothing you can seem to do about it. You're, you're just angry. Lots of people get stuck here. I've seen people get stuck in anger for a long, long time. Now, anger is okay. Anger is a completely valid emotion. It's something that we should feel. It's something that we're allowed to feel. And it's something that we should allow to work through our bodies and our minds and our hearts fully. Anger is totally okay. But we don't want to get stuck there. Uh, you know what an angry person is like. They're just angry all the time. And you don't want to be like that. I know I don't want to be like that. So work through the anger, but through. Don't get stuck there. But for now, let's talk about anger. Anger is totally valid. You could be angry at your church for letting this happen to you. They never talked about this. They never warned you that you that doubt could actually take over your garden of belief. You know, they never warned you that the dark night of the soul was really, really dark and there's no light. And or hope of light. They never told you that this was just a season and that you would come back to spring or, or summer or fall. That when they said it was winter, you were going to head into another direction altogether. They never told you. They never warned you. No one was helpful. No one gave you information. Well, we know why. They don't want you to go this way. They don't want you to grow this way. They don't want you to deconstruct. You might be angry at God for giving up on you and abandoning you and betraying you. You might be angry at Satan for tempting you uh, and, and making you fall. You might be angry at your spouse for not being observant or honest with you. You know, your spouse at some point might say, I saw this coming. You say, well, you got to warn me. So anger at the, at, at the church, I mentioned that. You can be angry at the faith, the religion for... Letting you down, you know, Christianity, even though it does have a great tradition of talking about the dark night of the soul and losing faith and the legitimacy of changing your beliefs and growing and maturing, they don't talk about it. They really don't talk about it. They never provided you with tools. They never told you that this could happen. <coughs> and they never told you that, certainly never told you that you could survive this through to the other side. And you could just be angry at life because life just sucks. Here, here you, you, you've dedicated your whole life to Christianity and the church and look what you get. A great big fat zero. A loss of faith and uh, all the good feelings that came with it. Now again, anger is completely valid. You gotta feel it. You can't skip it. You can't say, oh, it's wrong to be angry. I know I know, anger is a, a difficult emotion for me to feel and express, but it's important to do it. You have to do it. You have to work through that. There, There is injustice in the world. There is bad things that happen in the world. There are unfair things happening to me and to you, and it's okay to get angry about that because eventually that can be fuel for doing good and overcoming. So even even though it feels sinful for me, I get angry. I let myself get angry and work through it. You know, during this stage we might, you know, I, I, I see people in this stage a lot who are really angry. They're, 
they're, they're, they get incredibly skillful at swearing. And they, they might cry at a drop. They, they have very, very strong emotions. They feel like they've wasted their entire life on the church and on belief and on religion and on Christianity. They feel betrayed. They feel totally misinformed. And then on top of that, they feel silly for feeling that. They feel sinful for feeling angry. It's just a messy, this is a messy place to be, anger. But it's it's okay. You know, it's like you could even be angry at yourself for not being a good enough Christian. You know, I should have I should have read the Bible more. I should have prayed more. I wasn't as devoted to God as I should have been. I I let God down and he let me down. You know, there's there's all kinds of things we can think and feel during this stage of anger, but you gotta feel it. So perhaps ask yourself, have you felt angry yet? What does it feel like? What how do your how does your anger express itself? Write it down. I'd love to hear it. And we'll see you in the next section where we talk about bargaining. Bye for now.